we're take, gonna take the shortest ground wires, got this little thing called a splice cap. Not even gonna worry about those two ground wires right now. I'm gonna take the two shortest wires, those are pushed back all the way into the back, and take a splice cap, and push that on there. We're gonna push that all the way back in there, as far as we can, like that. Take a pair of pliers and smash that on there. Okay, crimp it a couple places. Like that. We're going to take our two shortest ground wires. I'm going to put a little crimper cap. It's called a splice cap. We're going to connect those together. Before we do that, we're going to just overlap them and take a pair of pliers back in there and twist them together a couple times. Like that. Then we're going to take the splice cap and put that on right over the twist. Smash it on. Get it on there. Nice and tight. Okay. Now we can cut one of those wires off. Leave a little tab. About an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch or so. Half an inch, whatever. And we fold that over the top that and smash it on. We can push that, all that back into the box, okay? Now we know those two ground wires are connected together. Now we've got three wires. We've got to connect all these three together. I'm going to take another splice cap. They got two different sizes of splice caps. If I had a little bit bigger one, I could take all three of these together slide this over, crimp it down, and cut one off. Okay, but it's a little tight to do that with one, with this smaller splice cap. There's two different sizes, so I'm just gonna keep going. I've got that one splice cap, or one ground wire on there. I'm gonna do it on the short one. Before I slide that on, I'm gonna twist this around. times. Make sure your ground wire is pushed all the way back there. Okay. This kind of helps connect it together. You want to do that a few times. You want to do it too many times. If you do it a whole lot of times, you could snap it, you could break it off, the ground wires. Okay. So, just give it a good few twists there. Then you can put the splice cap on. That's just going to kind of hold it. And you're going to want to crimp that on there the best you can. Nice and tight. Get it on there. They have a little crimper tool on a uh, wire strippers, except my wire strippers don't have them. There's a little crimper tool that on some of them there is, but you can take this and, and crimp it on there with that too. Okay. Make sure that's on there nice and tight. Then you can cut this off and fold that over. This point I have two ground wires left. Now one can go up to one box, one plug, and one can go up to another plug, but we have to connect these two together first. Okay, that way they're properly grounded all the way. Alright, so we're going to twist these together and crimp this on there at this point. Okay? I've crimped that on there and I've given it a couple extra twists my pliers 
So now I know all the ground wires are nicely tied together. That's why you need to have your wires sticking out here nice and far. Now I can take my pliers, just kind of grab that and rearrange it into the back of the box. All my ground wires. Okay. Now, we have one ground wire coming out over here for this plug. Rearrange that. We have one coming out over here for this plug. Okay, there's our ground wires. Done with the ground wires now.